Welcome to the ABC Launch Webinar. ABC stands for the Authentic Business Community. My name is George Cow, and I am so happy to be starting this community with some of the founding members and advisors uh, whom I'll, I'll refer to soon. And since this is the first ever public uh, presentation about the authentic business community, um, I would love your questions and your reactions. Um, anything that you're hearing that you particularly like that resonates with you, I'd love for you to chat below the video and say, oh, I really like this idea or this point. And anything that you hear that is confusing for you or you have a concern about something or, or a question about anything, please, please feel free to chat below the video and let, let me, let us know uh, what your questions, concerns are, and even suggestions because we are starting this network brand new and I'm looking at this as a, as a long-term project. So I know that it will grow and change over time to better serve the members. And that's really the, the, the goal of this. So uh, since um, we are here as a, as a webinar, I'd love to get some community going right away. And so whether you are live here or you're watching later, I'd love for you to answer a couple questions below the chat if you wish to. And uh, questions, number one, where are you from? Where are you in the world today? Um, what you know, city, major metropolitan area? Uh, first question for you. Second question for you is, what interests you in ABC, uh, in the authentic business community, in this project? Uh, you are here because maybe someone told you about it. Uh, you're watching this because you sent someone sent this to you, or maybe you read about the uh, you read some information on the website. I'd love to know if anything has stood out to you as being interesting about about this project, this idea. So I'd love for you to chat below. And then the third question that I have for you is any questions about what you've read thus far, what you've heard about this. So thanks for those who are are chatting in. Um, let's see, Sharon Rosen, one of our founding advisors, uh, New York State. Thank you. Excited to be here and see what kind of amazing networks we can build together. Yes. Um, Eric Bensusong, uh, relationship coach from Vancouver, uh, Canada. Wonderful. Welcome. Uh, Marina Francis uh, from Grass Valley, California, also one of our founding advisors. Um, Lisbeth from Belgium, we want to hear more about the network and how we can build together um, yeah, and grow together. Yes, absolutely. Uh, Shweta from New York City and via India, excited for new refreshed ways of referring that's focused on ongoing education. Yes. Caroline Leon from the uh, United Kingdom to live in Spain, interested to find out more, um, but a bit confused about how it works, excited about the referral network of other authentic business owners, absolutely. Sarah Humphreys from the UK, and uh, thank you. And Eddie Shea from a co uh, coach in San Francisco, wonderful. So uh, let me share with you how, how I would explain ABC. And I, I say how I would explain it because I think every advisor, every member advisor in ABC might explain it slightly differently in their own way. Uh, so this is, this is the way that I envision um, how it works for everybody who joins the community. So first of all, it's free to join. So that's important to say up front. This is not a members, you know, there's no membership fees or anything. It's free to join. And the vision for it is imagine that you have a growing network of supporters for your business. And what I mean by supporters is imagine that every month, you have something important that you want to get out into the world. Maybe a, a very important blog post you wrote or an important video you made or an online course you created or a book that you're writing or, or um, one of your services or one of your products that you want to get out there. Whatever it is, once a month, you have something you want to get out there into the world. Maybe you have it more than once a month, but let's just say the one thing each month that you most want to share in the world and imagine you have a group of supporters who share it for you to their networks. So that's the basic idea. It's, it's, it's very simple. It's just having a growing network of referrals, of referral, potential referral sources and supporters who share whatever you want them to share in the world. 
That's it. Could be, like I said, as simple as a piece of content, like a blog post, or it can be, hey, here's what I provide in my services, or here's an online course I've created, or here's a book I'm launching, or whatever it may be. That's it. And um, the way we grow this group of supporters is very simple. We call it, uh, I, I call it the refer and enroll system. Okay. And it's simply refer one, enroll one. So whoever enrolls you into ABC, again, there's no fees. You're just enrolled into this idea, this vision of growing your own network of supporters. Okay. Whoever enrolls you into ABC is what's called your ABC advisor. We're just calling advisor. Okay. Advisor is basically somebody who you are going to be supporting. So you are one of their supporters. You are their supporter. They are your advisor. Okay. And if you are wondering who are the ABC uh, advisors, who can you join ABC through? Uh, the and apologies for for the <laughs> siren noise here. Um, there is a link you can go to. It's authenticbusiness.community. So. The website is authenticbusiness.community. We couldn't get authenticbusiness.com. Whoever has that, <laughs> amazing, great. I could have probably gotten that in the early days, but I, I didn't. I didn't get to it. But authenticbusiness.community, and it's authenticbusiness.community slash advisors, and that there you'll um, actually when you get there, it briefly describes what advisors are, and you can get a link to see who the um, the current list of advisors are. So. Um, and in fact, I just posted that today and we've got already, we've got um, Chris Hisling, Moita Hennigman, Marina Francis, Sandy Freshy, Sharon Rosen, Bing Huang. So um, yeah, advisors on all kinds of different services and, and they have different gifts to offer to you. So here's what you do. You join ABC through an advisor that you choose, you get to choose whichever person most resonates with you. Uh, their welcome gift, when you join ABC through somebody, they have a welcome gift for you. So as an example, um, Chris Kisling's welcome gift is a, a coaching session uh, called the Timeless Moments Best Self Deep Dive. And he usually charges $200 for a session like this. So that's amazing. And he's giving it for free for those who join ABC through him. Um, Moita Hennigman, she has a 60-minute NLP coaching session that she's offering. Um, so if you're interested in neurolinguistic neuro programming and experiencing what that coaching is like, you can join uh, at, uh, ABC through her. Marina Francis has a welcome gift of a 60-minute deep wellness coaching session. So strengthening your personal pillars of empowered health. So if you're interested in, in holistic health and empowering your own health, you can join ABC through her to get her uh, free session, and that's her welcome gift. Uh, Sandy Freshy is a human design expert and specialist, and uh, her welcome gift is the 45-minute private session human design with her to figure out your human design chart and, and understand what that means. Um, Sharon Rosen is doing a half-hour uh, rest and recharge energy healing session. So that's really cool. And to be interested in healing, uh, energy healing, might want to check that out. Uh, Bing Huang is doing a 60-minute a private intuitive healing and coaching session to help release overwhelm. So that's really cool as well. So anyway, so these are, these are some, just some examples of welcome gifts that you will receive when you join uh, ABC through an advisor. And by the way, you can join ABC with more than one advisor, but, but here's the key. When you join an advisor, you are becoming their, you're committed to becoming their supporter, okay? And uh, what that means is that you will be referring another ABC member to them. Okay, so you are referring one and enrolling one. That's all. It's not every month that you're doing this. You're doing this one time, only one time. You're only referring a member once ever in the lifetime of your ABC membership. Not every month, just once. You're referring one person, so the way I think about it is you're being generous one time and you're enrolling your own member one time. That's it. So you, you refer somebody to your advisor. Of course, you would join someone that you really authentically are interested in their, you know, you're intrigued and interested in their, in their skills and their gift. 
And so you, you would look at, among your friends and your colleagues and somebody else who's also a business owner who also wants to grow their business. And you say, okay, this person might really enjoy so-and-so's welcome gift. So I'm going to send that, my advisor's website to that person. And once you refer a, a member to your advisor, then you've completed your referral requirement. That's it. That's it. Just the lifetime of your membership with ABC. You were just referring one person. And then after you do that, you enroll your own member into ABC, somebody who would appreciate your, your welcome gift and being a supporter of your business. So that's it. Then, you, then you're complete. And then you're complete with the referral and re enrollment um, requirement. And then uh, once a month, you get to send a newsletter to your supporters and you're growing, it's going to be growing. At the first month, you might get one, one referral from your member and then now you have two members, right? And then the next month, you'll get two more members and the next month, you'll get two more members. And by the end of a year, you'll have 24 supporters that, you've, that, that, are, that come into your ABC network that are receiving your supporter newsletter every month. Now, what that means, so, so imagine this. Right now, when you have something important you want to share on social media, an important blog post, uh, an upcoming, uh, one of your services or an upcoming event or something like that that's important to you. When you share it on social media, how many people share it forward? Right now, you're lucky if you get one right, or two. Maybe your best friend shares it with their Facebook friends or whatever. Like, you know, you, you get very, very few shares, right? Don't you? I mean, I do anyway. And so imagine at the end of a year with ABC, you've got 24 supporters. When you send out your monthly newsletter and say, hey, everybody, I need your help sharing this thing forward. And you've got 20, and, and you give the link, for example, to the Facebook post you want them to share forward. Imagine 24 people sharing it. So instead of one person sharing, you now have 24. And by the end of the second year, you have 48, et cetera. Now, you can, of course, speed things up. You say, wow, at the end of 20, just referring one and enrolling one, that's it. And then at the end of the year, have 24 supporters? Yes, you do. And end of two years, you have 48 supporters. At the end of three years, you have 72 supporters. Am I doing the numbers correctly? <laughs> yes, I think I am. Okay. And on and on and on. Now, you can speed things up even more. You can enroll more than one person into ABC if you wish to. Your requirement is to refer one person to your advisor ever. That's it. And you're done. But you can enroll 10 people into ABC if you wanted to. You can enroll 100 people. Doesn't matter. Okay, you have no, there's no you know, maximum number. You can enroll as many as you want. And so let's say you enroll 10 people. Then by the end of a year, you'll have had, I don't know, I haven't done the numbers. So someone do the numbers for me, but you'll have more than 24. Okay, maybe even way more. So uh, it's, a, it's a very simple system once you understand it. But of course, when you're first starting to understand it, it's, 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 it's a, it may be a little bit confusing. So at this point, I, um, would love your questions. And anybody who is here live, uh, I'm happy to um, ex, uh, kind of do back and forth explanation and uh, see if you, you know, we can help you understand. Uh, so I see a chat there from Sarah and Caroline. If either of you want to unmute and have a conversation about how this works, um, please feel free to uh, unmute and we'll have a conversation. And while I'm waiting, or Sarah or Caroline, anybody else who wants to unmute to have a conversation about it. Uh, I'll just say one more concept in ABC is that we, we call it net caring. And net caring is different from networking because networking, usually the way we think about networking is for a lot of us, it might feel like a chore. Oh, I have to keep in touch with my network. Otherwise, they won't remember me. And, and every time I keep in touch with my network, I always feel like I'm I'm trying to sell them on something or I'm trying to make them do something for me or it just feels like, oh, I'm just, I'm just, oh, hi, Caroline. I haven't heard from you in a while and uh, here's what I'm up to and I hope you refer some clients to me and it feels like a chore. It feels like a bit disingenuous, you know, a lot, not that you would do that or, but it has felt that way to a lot of us. Net caring is different. Net caring is this idea that I'm keeping in touch with Caroline because I enjoy who she is. I really appreciate the way she approaches business. I really appreciate the kind of services she offers. I appreciate the kind of content she creates. I like who she is. I like what she's about in the world. 
So I'm keeping in touch with you because I'm like, hey, Caroline, I just want to say wonderful work that you're doing. Is there anything I can do to, to support you? That's it. You know, I'm just wanting to be of service to her, you know. And in that kind of connection, caring, you know, I'm, I'm, I, by connecting through enjoyment, caring naturally happens. And a real relationship naturally happens. And of course, with a real relationship that's caring, referrals tend to happen more naturally. You know, if I, if I care about Caroline, she's likely to care back, you know, and then there's a, there's a more. So we, in, in the authentic business community, ABC, we're, we're really about net caring. So when you join ABC, you're joining with somebody who you enjoy, whom you would actually enjoy keeping in touch with, that you would enjoy supporting. You do this out of a genuine, you don't join ABC just because, you know, you're, you're, oh, I'm going to join ABC so I can grow my net. You're joining ABC because you want to support somebody. That's why you're joining. Right? And by the way, right now, you know, I, there's, there's, again, there's a list of advisors there that you can look through. And, and, you know, if for some reason you, you look through and you've studied all the advisors and it's not the right fit, let me know and we'll figure something out. Right. Um, but look, look at the current list of advisors. Okay. So I, I think I, somebody unmute. Um, is it Prem? Prem, I don't know if you meant to unmute or not. I think you're on the phone. Yes. Hi. Did you have questions or? Sorry, no. I'm I'm having trouble with my uh, my audio. Oh, okay. Okay. No, no problem. Um, yeah, no problem. Also, uh, let's see. Did somebody? Did somebody else unmute? Or, oh, hi, Caroline. Yes, great. Hi. hi. <laughs> um. So, I mean, I love it. I love the whole idea. I am slightly confused though. So the bit, the bit where I'm, you're losing me is, so I get that we pick an advisor and we enroll through them and then we have to refer somebody to them. And That's I right. heard you say, it felt like you said it two different ways. So I thought you said we need to refer another ABC member to them. And then a bit later on, you talked about friends, colleagues, clients. Okay. Yeah. Thanks for clarifying that. So, when you're referring somebody to your advisor, you're referring somebody who wants to join ABC okay. to your advisor. So it's a, a fellow business owner who also wants to grow their supporter base, referral sources, and they're like, oh wow, this ABC idea is really cool. I could see this working. And um, yes, uh, you know, I'd love to join ABC through whoever you, know, you recommend and you can, you, you know, you recommend your advisor to them. Now, if for some reason they don't resonate with your advisor, but they still want to join ABC, then you enroll them because they resonate with you probably. Does that make sense? So, you, but your, your commitment is to find somebody who resonates with your advisor. So, so please only join ABC with somebody who you would appreciate their, their gift and their skills. And you can imagine somebody else in your network also wanting to join ABC and appreciating their, their skills. Does that make sense? So that's, that might be the, 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 the one challenging uh, thing, but you know, all of us have at least a hundred, you know, <laughs> friends and colleagues and somebody and, and probably out of, you know, most of us know probably a couple dozen, you know, business owners who, um, you know, somebody there might want to join ABC and refer them to an advisor, one of our advisor. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. And then just to clarify the enrolling. So, so the person we enroll, we enroll as we become their advisor and they become our supporter. Yes, exactly. So okay. who, whoever you enroll yourself uh, becomes your supporter. And yeah. of course, what that means is they are now, your commitment is to refer an ABC member to you. <laughs> yeah. You see how that works? So it's like everyone who joins ABC with you, their commitment is to refer an ABC mem a new member to you. That's it. And then they're and then they're done with their referral requirement, and now they are enrolling somebody. Oh, I mean, and by the way, the refer and enroll it doesn't have to happen in that exact order. You might find someone who wants to join ABC th through you immediately, and you can enroll them, and you can enroll as many people as you want. But still, your commitment and my recommendation is that in the first two weeks you find somebody who wants to join ABC through your advisor does that make sense and our you know the 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 the, the 
uh, the aim is, is the first two weeks that you're part of ABC officially, you're referring someone to your advisor because if, if we follow that principle, that means that everyone's network is growing every two weeks. Does that make sense? So that's, that's the idea. So that's why there's that two weeks. But it's not like, oh my God, I've been part of ABC now for a month and I haven't been able to find someone from my advisor. It's not like you're kicked out or anything. You're just still looking. You're still looking and uh, you're doing your best. And some people might be able to, some of you might be able to find someone for your advisor in like the first day or, or, or two. So it, the, the timeline will be different for everybody. But our, our, our encouragement is to, hey, let's try to find somebody in the first two weeks. And okay. are you looking for a client for your advisor or? Are oh, great question. Thanks, Eric, looking for asking. For a, um, no, <laughs> no, that, that, yes. So thank you for asking. That's a great, great question. No, um, you're simply finding somebody for your advisor who wants to join ABC. That's it. And so they, like your supporters who join ABC, they're just committed to receiving your monthly news, monthly supporter newsletter and seeing if they want to share something from there. And here's the thing. So imagine, Eric, you've got, um, Eric, do you want to mention two names of people who might join ABC? Just first names, just random. Uh, Mazin, Molly. Okay, Mazin and Molly. Okay. So imagine Mazin and Molly are your supporters in ABC. <laughs> They're receiving your monthly newsletter and they, they receive their, the newsletter and you say, hey, you, you might even give them a gift of the month or something, something small. like. Um, or not, it's up to you. It's like, hey, here, here are the three things you might want to share this month that I'm really excited to share. Here's a blog post, here's a video, here's my services page. That's the one I most want you to share if you're comfortable sharing. If not, just choose a blog post or video, whatever you want to share. And then um, it's something you've already created for your own business on social media, whatever. And so if my, Maz and the Molly, if they, if they don't want to share any of them, okay, for some reason, whatever reason, then their commitment is to say, Hey, Eric, I don't feel comfortable sharing uh, this, these things, but what I would love for you to create, Eric, is could you write a blog post about this? Because I know you're really good at that, and I would love for you to explain it. Or could you create a service that helps people to do this? Because I know you're really good at that, and that would be a really cool thing. You know, So it's like your supporters are either sharing something of yours that you're recommending them they share that month, or they're giving you feedback on what you might want to create that they would love to share. Does that make sense? So it's, it's kind of a win-win. It's like... They are your supporters, and once a month, they are getting your newsletter and they're sharing something from there, or they're giving you feedback. But but they don't they're not required to become your client, you know. Um, they might, of course, every month when they're sharing something, they're becoming your advocates, and they are at some point, you know, of course, if they appreciate your your gifts and your skills, they might become a client, or it makes them easier to refer someone who might become a client. So the whole idea is just it's just being of support and whatever that looks like for them. It has to be genuine, it has to be authentic. Otherwise, it's not an authentic business community, right? So. So the idea is to have like supporters uh, that share your content and you could be a content, share your content could be your with them offerings. once a month. And then yeah, it could be your offerings you... too. Yeah. Okay, cool. So yeah, I mean, you might even keep it simple and say, hey, this month, I only have one thing I want you to share. And that's, that's my, you know, my services page. Uh, so please share this with three people that you think would really appreciate my services. That's it. And Molly might come back and say, hey, you know, Eric, um, on your services page, I'm really confused by this. Like, this is the first time I'm actually reading it now because I never, yeah, as I'm a friend of yours and I might have taken a quick peek before, but now that I'm actually wanting to share it or you're asking me to share it, I'm going to read it now. I'm going to be more, you know, serious about reading it. And on the services page, I, I think this section is kind of confusing. Could you? Could you revise that section and let me know when you revise it and then I'll share it. You, you see how that works? So, okay. Thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. So um, anyone else want to have a conversation about, you know, we could talk through anything that Marina. Hi. Great. Hi, hi George. Hi everyone. Um, so, just to, just to say, I know that there are, or I'm imagining there might be a few people on the call that have not yet seen the website, yes. George, where you've like beautifully walked through all of the steps, all the potential questions. And even as a founding member, I found myself wanting to kind of go through that a couple of times. And so 
to just sort of rest in like this, this is a new project, right? And you've put so much work into it and it's super exciting. And as with any new project, they're going to be, you know, there's a little, I even have a little confusion left, sure, of course, so yeah. you know, so what, um, we're moving forward. It's cool. It's a simple model. And one of the things that I love about this so much is that I know that if, because I'm committed now to publishing a monthly newsletter just for my supporters, it's going to have me thinking about every single month, what is the content that I'm committed to sharing? Mm. Um, and so like it, it's, I see a huge potential in popping into a new level of commitment to myself in that. Yeah. Um, because it's like this public declaration, right? Okay, we're putting a newsletter out. I need to give my supporters something awesome and easy to share. That's it. So I love that piece of like accountability to myself. I love that idea. Thank you for for bringing that in. Mm -hmm. That's so true. You know, yeah. I, I I sometimes you know forget that not everyone is already sending newsletters regularly. <laughs> you know, to their audience. You know what I mean? Like like for me. I, but this is different. This will be a different. This newsletter. is that's right. This is this will yeah. this will this will be a this will be a, a, a unique newsletter just for your supporters. But but what? But just to clarify, you don't have to create any new content. Yeah. Just for your supporters, it can be something you've already written in the past. It could be a video yeah. you've already made in the past, or whatever it is. You are simply asking them to, to consider sharing this or or one or more options that month. Yeah. You try to keep it, it between one and yeah. three is probably best. But it's so great because it key, I'll just say for myself, I'm writing a lot of content right now, but I'm like forgetting sometimes to make consistent offers. So yes. I'm very excited about that. That's great. Um, would, you, would you talk for a minute, two things. Um, I made a comment. I see another comment about possibly including a diagram at some point in this. Uh -huh. And I also... Um, I have the curiosity about people who have brick and mortar businesses um, and product. Could you just say a couple of words about that? Oh, okay. Yeah, absolutely. So that's a really good question. Uh, if someone is a local business and they really, they really just want local clients, right? Mm -hmm. Then I think their ABC network should be local. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. because it makes no sense to have a supporter that's halfway around the world and <laughs> knows nobody in my city or something like that. So, you would you would you would really, uh, you know, um, in, enroll people as supporters who are who are local to you and, and can and can kind of grow the local network that way. Yeah. Right. Okay. And as I think beyond that, even like those people that I know that are, that are coaches, that are consultants, that are do more of a ge geographically based business, that would be also true for them. Correct. Yes, yes, yes. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Thank yep. you for asking. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So uh, I see a question here from Evelyn. Uh, and Evelyn, if you want to, you can feel free to unmute and we can have a conversation to clarify everything but Evelyn says and this is this is a question I'm bringing up because I think this is probably in the minds of several of you I don't see how the referrals or members keep rolling in after the initial referral up and the enrollment of a person great okay so Evelyn um, uh, and you can uh, you can um, oh there, there you are hi Evelyn yeah, I'm here hi. great <laughs> thanks for uh, thanks for un unmuting and saying hi so do you want to give me a do you want to give me a name? Just give me a name, a random first name that someone yeah, you may or may let's not Anne. Anne. Okay, great. Okay. So let's say Anne. Uh let's say you've already referred somebody. So give me two names, sorry. <laughs> okay. Anne and Betsy. Anne and Betsy. Great. Perfect. All right. So let's <laughs> say you refer Anne, your friend Anne, you um like your your own advisor through ABC, your your ABC advisor, uh, mm -hmm. welcome gift or whatever they do is is also intriguing for Anne. Okay, mm -hmm. your friend Anne. So you got, great, Anne, join ABC through my advisor. Mm -hmm. now you're done with the referral requirement mm -hmm. ever. Okay, now now your advisor has a new member, Anne. But now let's talk about you. Now you uh, you are now an, a member and advisor too, and your friend Betsy is excited about ABC and joins ABC through you. Mm -hmm. So now you have one member. Right. Okay. Only now, now that Betsy's a member, 
and she's joined ABC. She read the guidelines. She's like, yep, this, this, I, I'm, I'm committed to doing this. Now Betsy is in your shoes too. She's going to refer someone to you, hopefully within person, two weeks. Right? Mm -hmm. Let's say, give me another name, Ca C Carol. <laughs> okay. okay, good. <laughs> right. Betsy is re Betsy's first referral, the first per person she's recruiting into ABC, you might want, mm -hmm. is Carol. And, and Carol is intrigued by what you offer. So mm -hmm. Carol's going to join ABC through you. So now I have two members. Now you have two members. You have Betsy and Carol. Mm -hmm. okay. And Carol, as a new member, of course, is, loves your stuff and um, getting to know your stuff, loves your stuff, and, and is going to recruit her first member and refer that person to you. Let's see. Diego. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Diego, <laughs> okay. right, is Carol's mm -hmm. referral, and Diego goes to you. Okay. And now you have three supporters, Betsy, okay. Carol, and Diego. Okay. And now Diego's first person is also given to you or first. Uh, when I say first, it might, might not be the first, but, but Diego is also committed to referring one person to you. Okay. Oh, um, Elaine. <laughs> okay. Does that make sense now? Oh, okay. So then, so it kind of, it builds more horizontally it than builds horizontally. And it's, but, but, it's but each horizontally. person, each of my members is building a horizontal yeah, yeah, and of course, each member can enroll a hundred people if they want, but they're they're mm -hmm. still committed to referring one person, mm -hmm. their advisor. Mm -hmm. So Elaine might refer ten people to ABC, like enroll directly through her, but she's like, yeah, I'm I'm still going to, I'm still going to refer somebody to Evelyn, and so mm -hmm. she refers Fred, you know, mm -hmm. to you because out of her friends and colleagues, Fred is really needing what you offer. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then Fred joins as my Your member. member. And then he refers. Yeah, and he right. So everyone is doing refer one, enroll one, or refer right. one, enroll a hundred. Yeah, I was thinking it was sort of building no, no, no. vertically down. So how does it keep? It's going not. To it's not a pyramid type thing where it's like everyone you enroll three people and they enroll three people and they enroll three right. people. But the only way that kind of of course I thought about that, and the only way that those pyramids work is that there needs to be payment multiple levels to, to, for the benefit to flow up, right? Like, oh, well, Evelyn, you enroll three people and they enroll three people. Now you have three members on the first level, nine members on the second level, and everyone pays, you know, $10 or $20 to first level. And it's like, like there needs to be like eight levels or three levels or two levels of like payments. But ABC is not like that. There's no payment, first of all. Right. Okay. And there's no, there's no payment. And, but what, what is, we're just simply supporting each other through the, a member newsletter once a month to keep in touch and say, Hey, you might want to share this. That's it. It's very simple. And mm -hmm. the, the, the magic of, I call it magic. Cause it's like, what you, if you, if everyone refers one and rolls one, your network keeps growing forever, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. you know, and the other thing I should say is that in terms of the requirement, you don't have to stay with your advisor forever. Also. I mean, you know, hopefully, if you're intrigued by that person's skills and gifts, you'll want to be supporting them for a long time. But mm -hmm. if for some reason, uh, if anybody needs to leave ABC, there's no, you know, just unsubscribe. <laughs> the simplest way of leave ABC, you just unsubscribe from your advisor's newsletter and you're out. That's it. You're done. And, and how are those subscriptions managed? Do, do we do that or is it? Yeah, so, so that's part of you know, and you might say that's part of your, your business education. If you, if you haven't gotten the experience of sending a, a, an email newsletter, now you're going to learn. And, mm -hmm. and the way to do that uh, for free uh, is through MailChimp. There might be others out there that do it for free, but MailChimp is very credible. They're a great service. I've used them since 2009 and mm -hmm. you get MailChimp for free until you get up to 2000 uh, subscribers on the newsletter that once you have more than 2000 subscribers, you have to start paying for MailChimp. But by that point, it should be, you know, very reasonable to, <laughs> it's not, it's not expensive. So everyone needs to learn to set up an email newsletter, which mm -hmm. I recommend you do anyway as a business owner. Uh, mm -hmm. but now you'll learn. Yeah. Now you'll learn how to do that. It's mm -hmm. cool. Super. That helped a lot. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for asking. Great. And uh, Sarah, I hopefully, hopefully I've just answered your, and please, Sarah, I know you had a couple questions. So if you want to unmute, you, you feel free to do that if you're in a place where you can. Um, and, uh, but Sarah says, it's a theory like pyramid selling. So hopefully now you know it's not really a pyramid. It's more like a growing, growing you know, level of supporters just on the first, the first generation. It just keeps growing. Right? So that's the idea. 
Um, okay. And Lowell, uh, thanks for your question. Lowell says, how do you pick advisors? When I looked at the link you provided, there seemed to be only seven advisors. And right now, there are only seven. Um, but there will be more as more people enroll in ABC and add their, add their um, paragraphs there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, and uh, there are uh, two men and five women right now. And, uh, you know, we'll see how that mix continues to grow. Um, and Lowell says, um, can you explain how the advisors tie in with you? There seems to be self-help professionals, not especially business-minded people, people that will help you with your business strategies. And Okay, so, um, you know, I, uh, the, the advisors who joined are enrolling with me directly um, because they're, they're already my clients. So I uh, am trying to um, give them some support by just, I'm basically limiting myself. I'm not going to enroll anybody else into ABC except those who are already existing clients. And so I'm trying to help promote my own clients right now that you can join ABC through them. Uh, but starting later in the year, I will open it up so people can join ABC through me directly. But it, you know, uh, hopefully as you read through the, uh, the current advisor, somebody there will, will intrigue you and you will genuinely want to actually receive their, their skills and maybe even their services. So, okay. Sarah, thank you for asking. Great. So Sarah says, you know, regarding the ethos of authentic selling, authentic business, how, how are we filtering the ABC members? How are we monitoring those who enroll? Great question. Um, you know, everybody who is interested in ABC is asked to read the guidelines first. And so the guidelines uh, talk about the principles of authentic business. They talk about net caring. Um, so hopefully everybody, I think just through our own personal enrollment and recruitment, we naturally are going to, to want to, you know, bring someone in who, who shares our values, I think, and who shares the values of building business from caring instead of from you know just money driven nature only so hopefully that that's a natural filter you know the website the guidelines and also your own personal connections any other questions anything else like i hope you can leave this call being much clearer about the process excited about it so i have a question for you if you're not excited about this right now why uh, and please be Brutally honest with me. Oh, I'm not excited because it's too close to MLMs or pyramid stuff. Okay, well, let's talk about that, right? Or I'm not excited because I can't, I don't know how to send a member newsletter. I don't know the technology of that. It seems like a lot of work. Well, let's talk about it. I don't know if those are concerns or not, but, but, um, but yeah, any, any concern, anything that you're not excited by, uh, let's talk about it. Okay, so Eric says, is there a spreadsheet to track everything? Uh, thanks for asking. So. I hope that it will be simple enough where you don't need a spreadsheet. And let me explain why. When you create your own member supporter newsletter, that is your spreadsheet. You don't have to have an extra place to track things. So let's say you use MailChimp and your supporters are subscribing to your member newsletter through MailChimp. Well, thankfully, MailChimp is pretty sophisticated these days. Even the free version, you can add more information to each subscriber, supporter. You can add, you know, any additional fields you want to and you can keep track that way so you really only need to track your own supporters so in the first year if you only refer one enroll one and everyone does the same thing then you only have 24 supporters in the first year so you probably know them by name second year you'll have 48 you know third year you have 72 now if you want to speed things up like i said you can enroll more people and then your network will grow faster and um so it, eric is that helpful or, or tell me where you're seeing where you might need uh, more tracking, like a spreadsheet. So, uh, oh, Eddie says, uh, this sounds great. I'm hesitating because people interested in my work are not necessarily business owners themselves or service based business owners. So I, I might not know who to enroll. That's a really good, that's a really good point. That's a really um, legitimate point. So, you know, um, it does, uh, you know, I, I think, I think, I, I, I realize I, I made a mistake in describing one part of this, which is the people you enroll don't have to be business owners, but they, they need to be somebody who wants 
to spread some kind of message in the world. It could be nonprofits even, or it could just simply be hobby bloggers or Instagram influencers or anybody who says, I've got some message I want to, exp to kind of share in the world. And, uh, you know, I just want once a month to have a group of people that I can say, hey, can you please share this? Can you please share this Instagram image? Could you please share this blog post we've written about our nonprofit? Or could you please share this video I made? It's just a hobby and I really like it and I hope more people see it. I hope it goes viral. So it doesn't have to be a business owner. It could just be somebody who has a blog or an Instagram or social media or they're just like, they're just, they're an activist and they, they want to share the message of something, you know, and they care about a cause and they just want to, every month they want that message to go out there even more. It could be that. Um, so let's see here. Uh, Prem says, if your business is based around writing, the idea of a newsletter can be a bit daunting. Um, how do you decide what to put in your newsletter? Would it just be your latest writing? Thank you for asking. I'm so glad you asked. So the whole idea of a monthly supporter newsletter that you send is to keep it as simple as possible. I don't, I'm not going to write anything new for my supporters. Okay. I'm just going to take what I've already written in the past. So it doesn't even have to be something I wrote this month. It could be something I wrote a year ago. It doesn't matter. You know? And like I said, keep your member newsletter as simple as possible for your sake, but also for your members' sake, okay? for your supporters' sake. So it could literally be a newsletter that says, hey, supporters, happy July. Hope you're doing great. Here is the one thing that I would love for you to share this month. Here's one link. It's a blog post I wrote five years ago, and, but I thought it was pretty cool. I, I hope more people read it. I'll see you next month. So how long does it take you to write that newsletter? <laughs> Five minutes, right? You just have to have a link that you want, to, you want them to share. Yeah. Or, you know, um, yeah, so I hope. Yeah, so Eddie says, yeah, it doesn't have to be potential clients of mine. They're just supportive. They're just supportive of my message. Absolutely. Yeah. So hope that helps. Anyone else? Any, anything else? Like, as you leave this call, are you excited about ABC? Are you excited to... to you know, enroll people yourself. If not, why not? What, where, where is your confusion or your, your hesitation? Um, or any other, any other aha, if you had an aha moment, like through this call, like, okay, like what was, what became clear to you that wasn't clear before you, before you joined? I'd love to, I'd love to hear from anybody as well. And, and feel free to unmute and, and share at this point. And those who you are watching this, comment below the video and I'll answer as soon as I can. Hi, George. Hi, great, Marina, hi. Um, just one of the very last things you said, what kind of opened a lot of things up for me, recognizing that um, it could be anybody who is passionate about any message they're interested in sharing. And so whether they need my work or not, because um, we all have so many people who believe in the power of our work, but don't actively need it or need yes. it right now. Right. And so to, to link up in that way and realize that, 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 that gives them their platform for That's um, nonprofit that they're so passionate about or whatever it happens to be. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, like somebody might say, well, I don't have a business, but I'm really passionate about helping to solve the climate crisis. I'm yeah. really passionate about the climate crisis. So every month I'm going to be sharing, you know, some YouTube video that I saw that's really powerful and that, or some blog post I read that's really like, like, and I want my supporters to be reminded every month about the climate crisis. Like I want them to, to share something. That's, that's my whole thing. And so that's what I'm going to do. And of course, you can change your message over time too. So, you know, maybe, maybe now you're, you want to focus on the climate crisis for a year and next year you want to focus on, you know, animal welfare. Great. You know, that'll be your thing. And, and your supporters may choose to join you or to leave and that's fine too. And just be open to, to, to the, you know, to the ebb and flow of things. But um, if you keep in touch with the supporters, it's likely that it's going to keep growing. So that's the idea. So, so really ABC is really just, it's, it's, um, it's a structured way for you to grow, and thank you for bringing that word platform. It's a structured way to grow your platform 
whatever message you're passionate to share, and for most of us, it's related to our business, okay? Um, but whatever message you're passionate to, to, to share, it, it'll, it'll help you grow that platform. So, yeah. Yeah, and, hi, and yes, Shreta, hi. Hi, hi everyone. Hi. Yeah, thank you so much for creating this. I've been excited since you put it out. I think my block has been, um, which I think got clarified on this call, was around the messaging. And part of it is when I would have been sharing it with select few people, Mm -hmm. in my network so i think would be wonderful and are genuinely caring and sharing types i couldn't explain it to them because i oh. didn't really understand it myself fully yeah. um or confidently yes. so i was like well i'm learning too but this <laughs> is what we value these things so yes. just you know come on and join the call and learn more about it like i am um i think the other part that will be important, especially as entrepreneurs, just like, so there's so much undoing and unlearning happening yeah. because when we think about authentic business or network, it's still in like client mode. So like once yeah. we're clarifying now, okay, well, you can just be supportive of a cause or a message. Yeah. Yeah, you don't, have, to you don't have the pressure, right? That's like right. the pressure of like, oh my God, it's like this transactional energy um, oh, that yeah. often can get it's very subtle i feel but because oh. a lot of us are marinated in that yes yes that yes. could it takes some time to undo that because something that a thought might that might come up for me like somebody who i introduced yeah. it to, it's like what do i have to do <laughs> or like yeah. do i am i obliged to like have to some have to refer somebody you know it's just this right, right the right. culture of referring even yeah um, yeah that's right Thank you. I really appreciate that. Which is, yeah. So, this is why it's so important to kind of express your any kind of concerns or any hesitation, like the first time you're hearing about this, because when you express these things, it because I'm I have a lot. You know, whoever is explaining ABC, I mean, we all have lots of blind spots because we already understand some things and we assume other people understand it too, but that's not necessarily the case. So I have I have a lot of blind spots. I'm sure describing this thing. So. When you raise these concerns and hesitations, I'm like, oh, yeah, now I understand. We got to explain that better, or we got to, you know, we got to phrase it in a different way. Maybe we shouldn't call it refer or enroll. You know, maybe we should call it something else. And thankfully, with all of us ABC members, advisors, we can, I'm sure, in 2020, when we describe this, it's going to be much, hopefully, much more refined and like more exciting than the way I'm, yeah. you know, halteringly describing it now, you know? So, but yes, um, uh, it is, it is, it is, the, thank you for saying it's not, it's not a transactional thing. It's not like, okay, well, I've got to, you know, have to buy into something or, or sign up for something. It's just, hey, I, I believe in Shreta's work. I really like her work. I really like her work. So I'm going to sign up and um, support her. Now, every month she's going to share something. And of course, over time, as, as they become your advocates, that's the idea. It's like they're, they're becoming your advocates. Mm -hmm. and over time, they're going to become better advocates for you. And some right. advocates will say, you know what, Shreta, and because they're your advocates, you're like on top of mind for them every month. And so mm -hmm. at some point, like they're just talking with their friends, like and their friends, somebody says, oh, I'm, I just, you know, just I'm, I'm pregnant and I'm, I need, I wish that there was some holistic support for my pregnancy. Oh my gosh, Shreta, you got to, first person who comes to mind immediately, you know, Shreta, because well, I'm getting her, I'm, I'm one of her supporters, you know, or. They don't, mm -hmm. however they want to call it. Right? Yeah. And I think you bring up another point of this phrase of over time, um, because I think, um, you know, I haven't been to the new website yet, um, but I think maybe just lifting that up, that it's a natural process of when that enrollment or the, sh the supportive, the process of it, it's not like, oh, in one month you have to do kind of. Right. Um, yeah. So it's not, I think that's the thing for also like that came up for me initially too, is like, okay, do I have the capacity or bandwidth right now to mm. be able to do this, um, even if it's one person or whatnot, you know, and because that's some of the conditioning that I'm still undoing, right? Totally. And yeah, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. So I feel maybe lifting, if it's not already lifted up, that it's over time and that 
it's not like in a month you have to be do that doing this yeah. you know <laughs> or mm-hmm. um right so that it takes off some of the pressure some people might be feel because most solopreneurs or entrepreneurs we have we're already overwhelmed or have long to do lists. So, yeah, that's a good point. Uh, on the other hand, I do, I do want there to be not pressure, but some kind sure. of, you know, yeah. like, here's a four week checklist. You yes, know, yeah. we're not going to, there's no public shaming if you, if you don't follow the checklist <laughs> yeah. in four weeks or whatever, but there's just, Hey, you know, let's, let's make it a game. Like, Hey, let me see if I can do this in the first week, or mm-hmm. the first week. you know? And so hopefully sure. you enroll somebody, you can, you can, yes, you, each of us will, will advise that person and hopefully make it more of a game, make it more fun, make it more like encouraging rather than, oh my God, you haven't referred someone to me yet. It's been two weeks. Mm-hmm. I'll be doing it. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, it's not going to be like that. So Yeah. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. And uh, Sue, hello, Sue. Sue says, if, I, if, if a supporter I bring in leaves, do I have to replace her? That's a great question. Um, so particularly if, if you refer someone to your advisor and eventually that person uh, leaves ABC, no, you don't, you don't have to, you, there's no requirement to, you know, you, you've done your, your best to refer somebody and you don't have to replace that person. Now, hopefully you, you, you refer someone to that person and then hopefully before they leave, they would have referred somebody already. And so that their, the, 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 the network can keep growing um, there, that the advisors network and keep growing, but you know, there's no requirement. And uh, you know, everyone is, everyone ultimately is responsible for the growth of their own network. So, you know, if, if, if someone referred someone, if one of your supporters referred someone to you and they, they, they're not continuing the ABC process, well, that means it's up to you to find somebody else who's going to, you know, be excited about this and see the vision and continue on. And like I said, you know, once you actually get going, I, I'm assuming that you'll, you'll kind of really experience it in your bones. You know, oh my, I, I can really see how this works and I'm excited about it. And it's really simple. Yes. The Marina just chatted um, regarding how much work is involved. You know, really the short term activity is, is, is the work. So it's setting up the newsletter, you know, you might have, you might want a web page on your website that talks about ABC. It's totally up to you. If you don't want to set up a web page. Can we go back to certain question though, George? My question oh, hi. is. Yeah, Sue. Yeah. Yes. Hi. Yeah. So I am not a fan of, of multi-level marketing or um, yeah. pyramids, but I see why I can see why it's built in that it's, you know, to grow it because if people do leave, it's going to, it might be challenging to get, that ben- that exponential benefit. Do you, do you, does mm-hmm. that make sense? Yeah. Oh, sure. Sure. Yeah. And that's that's part of um, uh, that's part of the the reason why I didn't even mention this yet. There is a Facebook group, ABC Authentic Business Community Facebook group that all members are invited to join, which will be providing tips, uh, encouragement, inspiration, case studies. Uh, there might be some exclusive offers in there. That's that's part of how I am able to be financially supported in this is I'm not taking any membership fees, but over time there, I may have some sponsors for the overall ABC community. So, um, you know, Hey, this month, our spot or this week, I don't know, our, our, spon- our sponsor is so-and-so please go ahead and, and I encourage you to support them. So that might happen, but there's a, there's the ABC Facebook group and then there's the ABC uh, official newsletter and there will be tips and encouragement there to help, help everybody, you know, maintain their supporter base, grow their network, et cetera. But does that help Sue? Yeah, thanks. And um, so Caroline says, so boil it down. After the initial refer and enroll, it's simply one share and one newsletter a month. Yes. And I guess a newsletter can sound scary to some people. So it's one email a month really to your supporters. So it's one share, meaning you're sharing one thing from your advisor every month. To, you, and, and you'll be triggered to get, to send out your newsletter when you receive your, your advisor's newsletter. So that, that, hopefully that'll be your reminder. Oh yeah. I just got my advisor's supporter newsletter this month. I, have I sent mine this month? Oh yeah. I haven't sent mine. Let me go ahead and do that too. You know? And so, oh yeah, I want to share this thing from Sue. Yeah. This is, you know, this thing looks really cool. I'm going to share it. Okay. Now my turn to share with my supporters. This is the one thing I want them to share this month. That's it. So that just keeps going. And Sarah, yes, please, please. Uh, let me bring you on here. Let me find you. Okay. Hold on. Hi, Sarah. Hi. 
right? Hi, hi there. Um, you know what? This might be a really basic question. Oh, no, no, all questions are welcome. Yeah, absolutely. I'm trying to draw, I'm trying to draw the, the format. Yes, right? yes. So here's my mind thinking. So you're talking about this today, so we're aware of the first line of people for us to enroll with, right? So then we invite somebody to enroll with the original person again. Yes, your advisor. Yes. So then what builds the awareness around the second level? So imagine you've got your first level of people. So if we That's enroll actually... today, then we're the second level. So how's the awareness to the second level of people? Uh, okay. Yeah. Thank you for asking. No, and this is great. Um, so you're really, you're trying to think of it in terms of the entire membership base of ABC. <laughs> you know, like every, I really invite you just to think about your own network. Okay. Because then it gets really, really clear. Because it doesn't matter the entire sort of organizational structure of everyone who's ever been part of ABC. That doesn't matter. It only matters that you have a growing supporter base. And you don't have to care about levels or anything. Because it's very simple. You have an okay. advisor. That's it. And then you have supporters. Those are the only two so-called levels you ever have to, to, to think so, about. So where have the supporters come from? Is that the person that I've... You, you, no, it's the person you enroll because because your your commitment is to ref, refer one and enroll one. Oh, okay, right. That makes sense. So you're referring somebody to your advisor who's going to join ABC. Yeah. That's your refer. That's your one requirement, one referral requirement. That's it. Yeah. And then you're enrolling somebody else to join ABC with you. Right. I see. So essentially, uh, ABC members, advisors are, you know, the 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 suggestion that, to make the system really work for every work, work for you. It doesn't doesn't matter about it anybody else. To make it work for you, you are recruiting two people. Yes. Does that makes sense. You're you're recruiting two people. One person you're referring to your advisor, and one person you're enrolling yourself. So so then the person you're enrolling yourself refer somebody to you right does that make sense kind of we, we can use names let, let, let's actually use I'm, no, no, I'm this is good. i no, feel like i'm stupid no no, no no you're not you're not you're the i have been part of these kinds of organizational structures before so it's it, i've been for years i've been part of this kind of thing so it's very clear to me this is yeah. why it's really helpful to explain it to somebody who has like a chain been. Yeah, I'm so very like, visual. I think that's my visual. problem. So, so, hey, George. Yes. Hi, Shweta. Um, can I suggest, um, I chatted it in, but can we actually do a role play with people on this call? Okay. Um, yeah. Because I know when you're asking people to name names in their network. Yeah, it's not as clear. We're, we're all physically here. and uh, That's a really good point. Okay. All right. So, can, so, so, so let's, so uh, Sarah, first of all, are you clear about the, the person you're referring to your advisor? That's clear, right? Yeah. Okay, that's clear. You're, 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 you're recruiting someone to join ABC, but they're joining, to, they're joining with your advisor. Yeah. Okay, so that's clear. So now let's talk about your own network and how that grows. Yeah. So let's say that Shweta, thank you, Shweta is going to join ABC through you. Let's say, I mean, you know, let's, for example, I think Shweta has already joined ABC, but let's say Shweta was joining ABC through you. Yeah. Okay. And just for the sake of the recording, I'm going to just put everybody on, on video, if that's okay. Uh, those of you who are on, on camera uh, are being shown. So F hello, hello. Uh, so let's say that Shweta is joining ABC through Sarah. Through Sarah. Sarah, wave your hand. And, um, and now, Sarah, you have one supporter. Right. Okay. You have Shweta. Now, Shweta has a friend, Lowell, who, and Lowell, say hello and wave your hand. <laughs> All right. Lowell is like, Shweta's friend, Lowell, and, you know, she talks to, she talks to Lowell about ABC. And Lowell's like, oh yeah, that's a great idea. That's a, cool. I want to grow my supporter base too. And Lowell happens to be uh, interested in your services. I mean, somebody who would be interested in your services, Sarah. Okay, or, or in your gifts and in your ongoing, you know, supporting your business. So, 
So Lowell says, great, I'll join, I'll join ABC through Sarah. Does that make sense? Yeah. Because Shreta's one requirement, referring somebody, is referring Lowell to you. Yes. Okay. Yes. Got yes. it? So now yes. you've got how many members? Now, did you see that moment? Yes. I yes. In there and I was like, yes, I see now. So now you've got two members. You've got Shweta and Lowell. Yes. And guess what Lowell's going to do? And I don't know if Lowell, if I'm pronouncing your name correctly. <laughs> we, okay, yeah. Okay, so Lowell's going to now refer uh, Lisbeth. Uh, Lisbeth, say hello. Wave, wave your hand. Yes. Lowell's going to refer Lisbeth who is going to be interested in Sarah's things to make Lowell's going to make sure somebody that he knows is interested in, in, in Sarah's services or at least interested in Sarah's content anyway. And Lisbeth happens to be. So Lisbeth says, great, I'm going to join BC through Sarah. Yeah. Now Lowell has finished his referral requirement. And now Sarah, you have three members, Shreta, Lowell, and Lisbeth. So the content sharing, element did you say that was once a month once a month so then once a month you've got these people's personal emails and you say hey this is what i've created this month can you share this to your email list That's please? Or, or they don't have to share it with their email list they, they they could share it on social media they can share it oh, okay. wherever they feel comfortable that's important yes yeah so they could just share it on Facebook if they're comfortable with that, or if they're on Twitter, or they, if or or maybe maybe they're like you know what, maybe Lisbeth decides to share it on Facebook, Shweta decides to share it on Instagram, and and Lowell says you know actually I've got three three people that I want to send this to. I mean, for me, why it's important, you know, for us to this is it's a wonderful thing that you've created and an idea. But we have to really fully understand the elements of it yeah. to then explain it to other people. Because if, if you don't get it, then. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully, to... hopefully the website will help, you know, I mean, yeah, I've had a quick, I had a quick look okay. at that. So, so, you know, if you don't understand anything, you just send people to the ABC website and say, Hey, if yeah. you have any questions from this, please email me. And if I don't understand, I'm, I'll ask my advisor. I see. Yes. So hopefully the website will become better and better and better. There'll be diagrams and all these videos and whatever. So that it'll be a one-stop shop where you just send people. And the website doesn't have any contact information purposefully because the visitor of the website should be contacting whoever referred them to the website. Yeah. I've just thought of another question. Yes, yes. So obviously, if I've got content once a month, hasn't everybody else got content once a month? Uh huh. Sure. So what's the question, or what? So it could be a lot of content. Uh. You know what um, I mean? No. The content. Only, part. Yeah, but no, you're only sharing your advisors. Oh, okay. So my stream. The stream of people in that, is that yeah, right? You're, you're only sharing whoever your advisor is. Let's say, you know, let's say um, that uh, Captain was your advisor, and then you're only sharing. And Captain, say hello. <laughs> so you're you're only sharing Captain's thing once a month, right? And you can share it wherever. You can share it on your Facebook page. You could share it on your Twitter, where where or LinkedIn, wherever you. I'm want. only sharing one person's stuff. You're only sharing one person's thing. So we need to make sure that the person that That's we it. are joining with. That you actually would want to share their stuff. Yes. And it's not conflicting with your own business. That's right. That's right. That's of course. Yes. And so it's got to be something that's com either it's complimentary or just you have a personal interest in it. And also that it'd be interest to your audience. Right. Yes. That's a, that's a, that's, that's helpful. Right. Because otherwise if you're sharing something that, you have a personal interest, but you don't think any of your friends or your colleagues have any interest in it. Yes. The, you know, yeah. That's a, that's a good point. I mean, I think, but the thing is, you don't really know what your audience is interested in. No. And it doesn't have to be shared on your Facebook business page either. It could be shared to your personal profile. It could be shared something you share to your Facebook friends. Yes. Yeah. Right. 
So, um, so I have a question, George. Yes, yes. So in this example, um, I, I finished my re referral requirement because I, uh, I connected with Lowell and Lowell's uh, advisor is um, Sarah. So, what, so I finished the requirement for referral. How about en enrollment? Yeah, then, then you can enroll as many people as you want for yourself. So, so Lowell wouldn't be an enrollment? No. No, well, Lowell will be Sarah's enrollment. Right. Because you referred okay. Lowell, you referred Lowell to Sarah. Mm -hmm. So Sarah's enrolling Lowell. Right, so got it. The, the first, the, your network begins to grow in the beginning when you make that ref enrollment yourself, that mm -hmm. one person. Got it, okay. And then they are the seed that begins. Now you can enroll 10 people if you want, it's up to you. But if you just, even if you enroll one person and they are following the ABC guidelines and they're gonna refer people to you. And Got it, okay, all right, okay, cool, thank you. You're welcome. I just, I just some, thought of something else quickly. Yes. So the person we enroll, do we need to sort of think, okay, so this has to be the sort of person that is gonna be able to bring other people in the right? Uh-huh, well, I, I think I think when you when you share the website the ABC website you share it with yes. with let's say ten of your potential friend ten of your friends who are potentially interested in growing their own message growing their platform yes yes when they read the ABC website they're going to see the whole process yes and so if they can't imagine themselves doing that yeah they're already going to be automatically they're they're going to filter themselves out yes. You see what I mean? So let the ABC website do the job for you. Yeah. I mean, it just sound, it sounds great. Yeah. Just working out the mechanics of it. Yeah, exactly. And I think once you have an advisor and you're, and you're, and you're, and you're a supporter yourself, you'll start to see how the mechanics work. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Oh, and Lowell has a couple questions. So thank you, Lowell. Lowell says, um, what if you realize you're marketing to the wrong group? For example, those people in your community aren't really interested in your work. It's not going in the direction you like. You start over. Okay. So hopefully somebody won't join ABC through you unless they're interested in your, your work because they would have looked at your website or whatever you offer to them. Uh, and they'll say, you know, well, part of the ABC website says, please do only join ABC if you're genuinely interested in your advisor's work. So hopefully the website will clarify that for them. So, so Lowell, no one's going to, you know, uh, Sandy, if Sandy's going to join your ABC supporter base, she's joining because she, act, she's actually interested in your work. You know, she's interested in your content or, you know, in supporting your, your work. You know, does that make sense? So she's only joining because she's interested in your work. So, so then your, your supporter base grows that way, you know. Um, and then... Um, uh, and but if 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 in some reason you know your supporter base grows cold, in in the distant future, uh, you can always enroll another person in the ABC and, and you know who's supportive of your work, and you can continue growing that way. So um, and Lowell says, does your advisor prompt you on how to keep keep on track with this? Yes. Yeah, so your advisor uh, will will send you the four week checklist as a new member. It's on the ABC website, and uh, now. He or she will say, "Hey, do you have any questions about this? You know, let me know. If I don't know, I'll ask my advisor." Um, so, and then you know, if if after two weeks, you know, you haven't taken any action, I'm sure your advisor will say, "Hey, Lo, just checking in, and and I want to see if you have any questions, do you have any concerns, anything that's difficult for you. Let's uh, see if we can figure it out together." You know, like, oh, um, maybe your advisor will say. Hey, Lowell, uh, first step, maybe you should look at your Facebook friends list and see you could write down the names of 10 of your Facebook friends who might be interested in growing their platform. Oh, yeah, I haven't done that yet. Great, I'll do that. You know? So your advisor will kind of coach you into, into, into doing this. So, Okay, I, um, I want to make sure I, I don't go over too long because 
the, many of you have been patiently waiting for this call to end. Uh, Sharon, did you have, yeah, go ahead. Final, oh no, okay, <laughs> great. Um, so thank you so much for being part of this launch webinar Q&A call. I hope this has been helpful for you to understand this better. Uh, if, if, you know, if you're interested in, in signing up, please, of course, talk to the person who referred you and uh, join ABC through them. And if you, if you would like to, and uh, if you don't know who to join ABC through, there is the list of advisors to check out. It's authenticbusiness.community. It's not .com, it's .community. So authenticbusiness.community slash advisors. Make sure it's all lowercase, authenticbusiness.community slash advisors. And that'll give you a list of advisors that you could join ABC with, okay? Thank you. Any other questions, comment below the video or ask your advisor. And I will see you in a future ABC call. All right, everybody. Thanks. Bye for now. Bye-bye.